The World Championship is the end of the year type of event, kind of wraps up for UKC with the World Championship. And it runs last two weekends of the month in September. We take the top 100 advanced to the finals. The number of dogs advancing out of each zone is prorated and it's all prorated based on 100 dogs. We want 100 dogs total. The zone numbers aren't all the same, you know, so a zone that has more numbers is also going to advance more dogs to the final. Good luck everybody tonight and congratulations. We have a lot of different major events throughout the year. Autumn Oaks is one that we have and that's our largest event of the year and it's also on Labor Day weekend every year, whereas the World Championship is a little different. It has its own unique atmosphere and obviously a lot of prestige that comes with it. Guys qualify their dogs for this event and it's something they work on during the year. Uh, if they get qualified, you know, they do a lot of training, keep their dogs in tune for the world championship. Even as a kid, if you're into coon hounds, it's something that everyone dreams about. You know, you want that world champion. It kicks off on a Thursday night. If you win your cast, you have that dog needs to go back out again and hunt by itself. And the idea in that round, it's a tradition that's been part of the world championship since very early on. It's not a competition round, it's a pass or fail. And a pass would be where they can treat a raccoon doing it by themselves with no help from any other dog. Friday night is kind of a big night. If you make it to that top 20, that's when you really start getting on the big stage. If you win your cast on Friday night, you're going to be in the spotlight for 2020 as far as the World Championships is concerned. The one other thing that's very unique about the world on Friday night, so we generally we have between six and seven casts of dogs that are left on Friday. So there's four dogs that draw off to a cast that makes up seven casts. We take the top three highest cast winners with the highest scores. Those three dogs get to advance to Saturday's final cast, but it leaves us with four more of the lower scores. Those four dogs draw out together in a late round on Friday night and they compete against each other and they're competing for number one, the cast winner is going to advance to the final cast on Saturday with these other three. Very big deal at the World Championship. Oh, the final four, that's where you wanna be. It's a long day and a tough day. And for some guys, it's a lot of butterflies, they can't sleep, you know, and where, whereas other guys, it's a little easier maybe, but, uh, you can't win the world championship without getting into the final four. This year we have a very interesting final four. We have a very diverse group. We have a six-year-old, a four-year-old, a three-year-old, and a one-year-old. The guy that owns the six-year-olds, it's a dog called Down and Dirty. He's out of West Virginia. He's owned by Chad Manns out of Hearts, West Virginia. And he's got the oldest dog. He's a six-year-old training walker male. Chad is just one of the great guys in the sport. He's been coming to these UKC events for a good number of years. Always tries to get a few dogs qualified and he's just never got close to this stage. Dream come true. Dream, I've dreamed about it all my life and never expected it. You do what he's always done, you take it no matter what. You don't do nothing, you don't do nothing. I ain't gonna be mad at him, I feel feed him and take him back home and be proud of him. The four-year-old is a, a dog out of Hillsboro, Ohio. It's Scott Angle owns the dog. Scott Angle, along with Randy Morgan, they've been partners for a long time on dogs. Scott's dog, is his name is Mojo's Electric Rodeo. He started coon hunting when he was just a kid. And he's done this for a, a, a lot of years now. He probably has more experience than the other three combined as far as being on a big stage. So he's been there, done that, you know. But the one thing he has never done is won the UKC World Championship. You know, so he wants to win it just as bad as anybody else. I think they're a good shot. I think everybody does, so you never know. Every dog has his day. If uh, he wants to he wants to rock and roll, then, then he can. It doesn't matter, he's still, uh, he's still got a home. Then we have a three-year-old out of Oakwood, Ohio, also a treeing walker named Stylish Brutus. 
Uh, he is owned by Steve Scott and Steve Akers. They've got a handler on him. His name is Dakota Scott. He's a younger guy, a very relaxed kind of guy. Still not sure that it's completely hit me yet, actually, where I'm at and what's, what's going on and how far I've made it. But uh, now we're just hoping that he acts like he did the last two nights and if he operates like that. I, I've got faith in him, so we will just hope for the best. He's got a dog that deserves to be here. The big name is we have a 16-month-old English dog that's in the cast. His name is Uncle Cracker. And just since the uh, regionals last week, I've heard that name, Uncle Tracker. I've heard it a bunch at the zones. And here he makes it all the way to the finals. And I find out he's 16 months old. And he's kind of a local guy from Hagerstown, Indiana. So he's on his home turf. No sleep, can't eat. I mean, it's, I'm sick to my stomach. I'm nervous as can be. I, mean, I don't know what I'd do. I don't know if I'd scream, run, cry. It's something I want to do. I mean, I'd like to win, and I'm, I'm happy where I'm at, though, if I don't. I do believe if he were to win this, he would be the youngest to ever win it. It should be a good cast. You got experienced handlers versus maybe some not as experienced and probably same thing with dogs. So it's, it's shaping up to be a really good event. Oh!